Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can download and install Motion Blur mod. Now, this mod is by GTAV underscore Freak on the GTA 5 mods website. A uh, link to this will be down below. Now, um, there are no requirements for this, but I, I do suggest that you do install some type of mod menu to spawn a car to uh, see the motion blur but apart from that you shouldn't need anything else if you do um, the most you will need is a game config um, scriptic v obviously scriptic v dot net if you're using scripts but apart from that I'm only going to be showing you guys how to download and install the motion blur now you've got the weak preset which just looks like a normal game Apart from that, you can tell you've got uh, subtle. Then this is where you start to see it. You've got medium here. You've got normal preset. You've got a high preset. You have intense preset. You have a strong preset. And you have an insane preset. Now, obviously, your game doesn't have to look like this because this looks really trippy. But if anything, I'd max it out as strong or intense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install. So, first of all, you do want to download it. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. So, yeah, open when done. Right. So. Come over here. Um, open it with a RAW file. Now, in here there's going to be backup files. So, these are going to be useful for later if you guys didn't want the uh one now here we are all the ones we need so what we're going to do is you guys want to open up open iv if you guys don't know how to open iv or you don't have it due to the fact it was removed from the website uh i did release a video on my channel to show you guys how you can download and install open iv um so yeah this video is not going to be uploaded uh, directly at 6 p.m. UK time, um, but it will be uh, installed on the day, which that day is going to be a Wednesday, which is today. But anyway, we want to open up OpenIV, which I think I accidentally closed it. Um... Also, there is music on the way, guys. Uh, not not any voices or anything, but uh, beats. So if you guys do want to see that, let me know. Right. So open up OpenIV. Uh, I'm gonna open it so you guys can see. Now, what you guys want to do is make your way to mods, update x64. Actually, no, no, no. Mods update update the RPF common and data. So that is GDA5 mods update update the RPF common and data or data. So, what you guys are here, choose for one the um, the one you want to use. For me, I'm going to be using, uh, so let's go back to the website. Now, this will help you determine which one you want to install. Now, in this case, I'm going to go with the Insane or Stronger preset. Uh, if anything, we'll go with Insane. Now, you guys are looking for an XML file. Uh, time Cycle. Which... I do believe is somewhere. Unless I'm in the wrong place. Let's head back to the website, see if there's anything in the description. Um. Okay, no, apparently it should be there, so... We're looking for time cycle. Uh, 
I actually don't see. Oh, wait. It's in the time cycle folder. Okay. So you want to go to GTA 5 mods update, update RPF, common data and time cycle. It'll be a folder. Then you guys want to drag and drop this. As you can see, it now says compressed. We can go back, head back to data, and drag and drop the visual settings.data. And there you go. So, delete that. Oh, uh, remo remove that. Close open OV. Head into your game, grab a car, and drive fast. And yeah, if this did help you guys, uh, and you don't want to see more mods, make sure you like, subscribe, turn them post notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next video.